right, right now we're going to be talking about how to uh, do some comic effects and tricks in your piece. So in Photoshop, I'm going to make a layer, um, a black layer so that the flames can really show up. It doesn't matter what um, the background looks like, but it does, it's kind of got an opacity difference that you will be able to see. So this I've already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pen tool. Um, however you want to make the path, you make that path. You can make the path along a selection or whatever, but I'm just going to kind of make a path like this with the pen tool. And what happens to a path is it becomes, if you go to paths up here, you have layers, channels, and paths. This is the path. I'm going to select that path with the path selection tool. There it is, selected. And then I'm going to go to filter, render, flame. What else do you see in there? Picture frame, tree, clouds, and all these other things are don't depend on a path, but they are kind of interesting too. I haven't tried tree yet, but I'm going to try flame first. The, what flame will do is it will bring you to another um, window and check out this. I made my flames blue. You can make them orange, yellow, whatever you want them to be. And it will change to those colors. You can increase the length of those flames. Check out the length of my flames now. Pretty awesome. I can change the width of the flames. Alright, that's a big fire right there. That could be kind of fun to work with. I can change the angle of the flames. They could be going straight up and down. Or in the completely opposite direction, depending on how you want them to go. Anyway, play around with this. Um, I'll go to the default just to show you what the default is. There's different types of flames, too. There's multiple flames. There's flame one flame along a path. That's a fun one. If you take a look at that one, it really does a cool... Um, it's, it's much like the brush tool in Illustrator where you have it a pattern or you have it um, just a single image along a path. Multiple flames along the path, multiple flames in various angles, and then you have candlelight too. It's one kind of flame. Play around with that if you need flames in your piece. What it does is it renders it along that path. It doesn't change that path. That path is still there. It just renders a, an image above it and in that layer that you're in. So I did it actually in that black layer, which is bad. I should have done it in another layer, and then it would have been above like the, um, the flames I did up here. Okay? So that's making flames.